Unfortunately, I had to step out for a bit. Curious on the impressions of Waking the Tiger. Hard to say because it's still uh, early on. But so far, I like it. The thing I really like, probably more than I kind of expected, is the leader development. The fact that you now have a skill tree that you can assign skills to and stuff like that. A little bit disappointed that traits don't seem to increase over time. Uh, based on what the leaders are doing. Uh, which, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's not working as intended or if it is and it's just not showing. Not sure. Because we do seem to be getting defense skills. Although I suspect those haven't changed at all. Yeah, see, skill 4, 0%, even though they've been fighting continually. Unless those are tied to, like, traits. No, it doesn't seem to be. Um, and I like that battle groups are back, like they were in Hearts of Iron 3. Nowhere near as complicated as Hearts of Iron 3, where it would take you about two hours to sort out your order of battle before actually starting a, uh, a, a game. But I like that you now have field marshals, which are different from regular generals. That's cool. Well, one way that traits increase is technology. So you can, for example... Where were they? Here we go. French drill. Add defense skill 1 for all army leaders. But that's not individualized. I'd, I'd much prefer if they were individualized. I strongly suspect that that's something that modders will play with. I'm just surprised it's not in vanilla. And I may have left this too long. Get into Jinan. That's, that's the new Beijing. They're hitting me really hard over there. Meanwhile, we're being slowly but surely squished back there. Alright, we got some more troops in. Uh, you back off. Let's heal you up. We have you guys coming in, that's fine. Elsewhere we are holding. Yeah, if I were the Japanese, this is where I'd be attacking. Get through the valley. Cut all of this off. Got some big units coming into Janan very, very soon. Quickly, quickly, quickly. One man. There we go, they just arrived. And they are coming back. This division recovery thing is definitely helping though. It's made a big difference. And also, we're going to be getting more experience. Slowly but surely. We still don't have any level 3s, which is kind of surprising. Or level 4s, rather. Veterans. They're just regular. Why are you attacking? Don't do that. You're being pushed. Defense in depth. Here we go. That's a defense bonus. So we have another five max entrenchments. So now we can choose between deep battle and mass mobilization. So this one gives us the manpower, if I remember correctly. That's 5% recruitable pop. And this is just combat width. Well, we definitely want the combat width because Chinese units later on just are hilarious. Where you're just attacking with um, just a full block of infantry. 50 combat width which is reduced to 40 because of that modifier I'm tr just trying to see if there's any reason for me to take this plus 10 organization is nice recovery rates all the way down there supply consumption is good max planning is good see there just aren't as many infantry bonuses on this side Mass mobilization is definitely the infantry route. Infantry recovery rate, plus 0.3. Reinforce rate, plus 5. Is that the highest reinforce rate? No, it's always 5. No, it's not. It's only 2 here. It used to be 2% for everyone. That's a change. Huh. Yeah, again, 2%. So mass mobilization does more reinforce rate. That's very interesting. 
It's pretty early on up here. It's later for this one. Oh, that's a recovery rate for the entire army. You know what? I am sorely tempted to take the mass mobilization side. I don't see us using tanks. Because both of them have the infantry combat width reduction. And you also have way more bonuses for infantry. Just generally. Reinforce rate plus 15%. That's mental. Yeah, we're taking this side. I've never done this before. They've changed it. I like it. That's really cool. So if you're... It's basically Russia versus China. If you're playing as Russia... Whoops. Then you probably do want to take this side. Because you will be eventually mixing in armour. But as China, it's just all out manpower. So you may as well just take that side. Because I don't think I built a single tank when I last played as China. Pretty sure. Does France start communist now? Or does that change? No, that's one of the options they have is to go communist. Although they have in fact gone communist in this one. But no, they do not start communist. Definitely not. In fact, they've gone status quo. I wonder if the Soviets are... hitting them. Or the surrender limit minus 50%. I shouldn't have sniggered at that, but I, I'm, I'm going to snigger. That forehead. <laughs> that forehead is bigger than their chance of victory. Ouch. Alright, Janan's still looking pretty positive. You could do with some more reinforcement, I suspect. Let's send you the half supply guy. Uh, we seem to have slowed their advance over here. We've got to be doing more casualties to them. 181, well, 286 for 175. I should be counting as long as Jiangxi. Jiangxi have actually done a really good job so far. And they've actually lost more land than I have. No, we've lost about the same. Get back in there. You as well. And you. Let's go. Uh oh. I may have cut this too long. Two days away. You'll arrive first. Yeah, I think I've done shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit. Um, let's make sure that tank does not arrive. And they're attacking me. God damn it. Now I'm the one attacking, which is not good. I can modify my government, though. Oh, of course, you can do it in one jump now. I'd forgotten about that. Oh, I much prefer it when you actually have to mobilize in short bursts. Vanilla is too easy. Alright, so we are now fully on war economy. So we should start producing more guns. Quite dramatically. We also have now 10 factories producing that. So I think once we have the ability to get the military factories for the civilians, like the emergency conversion, we'll probably pop that, like, straight away. I need you guys to take Janan. That tank's going to get freed up any minute now. Here it comes. 
And I'm fairly sure I have no way of penetrating the tank's armor. I basically have to do to them what they were doing to me and just constantly harry them. Otherwise that happens! Arrgh. How long until reform? 66 days. Oh, jeez. I like that this is hard. This is good. No, this is my spot. Not your spot. They're just so much better equipped than I am right now. 12.8 thousand guns short. Alright. Can I... give you a priority individually? Or is that done on a theatre level still? Because I'd really like them to have the reinforcement priority. No, is the short answer. All of my generals have the same experience. Really? That seems unlikely. Oh no, they're pushing out really hard. This this is a bad spot we're in. This is a very bad spot. And at this point, I'm going to have to say thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to hit that follow button to get notifications when I'm live in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, then do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out and lets me continue doing this into the future. If you want to support the channel in other ways, check out my Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash Viking. Um, I also have a Discord, which you can find at this link here. That is where I tend to announce what I am streaming, when I am streaming, that kind of information. I do have a YouTube channel where this series is going to get uploaded. So if you want to see the beginning, if you haven't uh, caught the, the start, then that is where it will be uploaded. I will try and get that up this evening. Probably more likely tomorrow morning that will start. Uh, this is the DLC given to me by Paradox. This is the Waking the Tiger. It will come out officially on the 8th of March, so in three days time on Thursday. I will be streaming this again this evening instead of Ultimate General. That's going to be kicking off at 10 p.m. GMT. So that is in four hours from now. Unfortunately, I have other obligations, so I can't just keep going. But that is it for now. Thank you everyone very much for watching. I'm going to see who else is streaming this right now. So if you want to catch some more Waking the Tiger, then that can be arranged. Let's have a look. <laughs>